Okay, so this one I think is for people interested in game design. I'm playing a pre-alpha version of Unexplored, a dungeon crawler that may well offer the most complex and clever random levels yet. And this game looks like a million others at first glance. And but it's born of a desire to improve procedurally generated games. And um, sounds a bit dry, I know, but stick with us, and we'll see if this game's actually fun to play. Um, hello, lads. Anyone around? There's a, there's a crafty little arrow there. That's um, not going to be. That, that might be useful if I get a bow. Um, I guess. Um, oh, 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 oh. Um, right, I guess this is more roguelite than roguelike, because it's not turn-based, um, and it's also deliberately kept simple to control. It's mainly WASD, space, and mouse. So I'm just going to follow this water around. I don't want to get in the, the deep water, because that'll mean, mean I'll drown in that. Um, thankfully, not too many baddies around. Get that. Oh, chest, and um, potion, torch, and mace. Oh, I've never had a mace before. Let's see what that does. Oh, hello! Um, okay, so that's right-click for mace. Oh, that really tonks people. So we've got a short sword and a mace on the go at the moment. So you start with a short sword. Uh, oh, there's a there's a matey boy with a sword and a torch. Mace! Mace in the face. There we go. And he's dropped a dagger. And oh, also a spare torch if I need it. Um, let's see if I can actually light the torch. There we go. And put that back into my inventory because I don't need that just yet. In case things go dark. Oh, chests! Oh! Chests for days. Gold. And gold is kept between games rather usefully. Also got a shield. Um, my, oh, that's chest. That other one's empty. Oh, that might be useful at some point. Let's twat the fish. Fish twat. Oh, that's the end of the level. Oh, I just found the, the random exit. As usual in these games, you have to find the amulet of Yendor, or whatever it's called. Um, I think it actually is. I mean, that's not just a um, uh, analogy. Yeah, it's um, very much the um, uh, net hacky rogue bloody bloody lang longs as we... Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so the, um, the random dungeons in this game uses a theory of um, procedural generation that instead of just using methods based on branching paths, it adds cyclic structures, apparently. And woo, 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 woo. Um, so, which apparently make the levels feel more handcrafted. Uh, I'm not going to pretend what's I know what's going on there. And the guy who made this does actually have a PhD. Um, and I've got a GCSE in ceramics. <laughs> um, also a degree in computing, but that kind of ruins the joke. Where are we going here? I think I might need to... Well, can't get that way. Um, am, I, am I missing a key? Um, hmm. Anyway, so... How do you actually get out there? Oh, there we go. Um, oh, <laughs> fairly straightforward. I thought it would, I thought the level had bust there for a second. Um, so yeah, apparently all this, um, all this theory does make the levels feel less linear. More the way real-life designers make levels, apparently. Um, I did, I've played this quite a bit now, I've played it a few times, and it seemed to me that every time I played it, it was the same game. And then I just realised I'd actually put the same seed, random seed in over and over again. <laughs> so I felt stupid and had to restart the video. Um, but we won't talk of that footage. My god, look at this, this is a big open area. Never seen one of these before. Uh, cool, okay, let's get this tonk, tonk the spiders. Um, let's explore all the little nooks. There we go, there's a little chest. I've actually got, you almost filled my inventory. Let's check out some of these scrolls. Um, you don't know what they are until you read them. Achievement unlocked, feel the force. And detect magic. Let's try that one as well. Oh, fuck. Um, darkness. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Um, can I actually use the torch? Oh, I, it's not lit. It went out for some reason. Let's go and try and find a sconce. The well-known word. Um, any sconces around? No! Well, fuck it. Um, it's, oh, that's, that's telling me what the mace is all about. If you right-click on anything, it tells you what's going on. Um, I didn't mean to do that. Um, let's just try and get out of this dark area, because I think it's um, location-based rather than time-based. Oh, 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 a sneaky little key! Uh, of which I now have two. Uh, huh. So this is a bit more of a, like a, a corridor dungeon-y type level. Oh, I think I'm back where I started! Oh, fucking hell! Okay, let's try and go over to the left then instead. Um, do I have anything to drink or use? I think I'm fine for now. Oh, I can't get through there. Oh, I must... I see. I've got to go over on the minimap. Um, I've got to go over to that little white thing. Can I even get there? Well, maybe it's a secret door. Oh, so it is. Oh. All hail to the minimap. Your very first goblin, apparently. Achievement unlocked. Oh, grab some um, treasure. Grab some of that, which is nothing. This would be here to be the library. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, let's light the torch. There we go. Torch is effectively lit for no reason at all. So where am I going now? There's, some, there's a blue thing here. Oh, there's something on the shelves. Uh, let's have a read of these scrolls. Enchanting. 
choose an, uh, an item to enchant. Let's try the mace. Oh, it's a mace plus one! Oh, that's the, that's an old trope. Yes. Good. I like me all, myself a little mace. Good. Okay, I'll try and get to the exit. How do you actually... Let me out. Let me out. <laughs> How did I get through here in the first place? Uh, let's just double check this shelf. It, it would appear that the minimap actually held, helped me out quite substantially by telling me exactly um, what shelves... Was. Oh, the, that's a copying table. If I've got a scroll, I can now copy it, um, I believe. How to copy a scroll. Place a blank scroll. Oh, I need a blank scroll, so I don't actually have one of those. Oh, I've just... A, a scroll of identity, apparently. Let's read the potion. Potion of strength. I'll have that. Good stuff. Oh, also, I picked up a spare shield. Now, how did I get... How, let me out. I think I was actually tonking the wrong one. There we go, that's why. Um, I, I, I forgot to check my minimap. So where's the way down from here? Oh, this is... The, the scroll of darkness is still bloody... Um, chomping at my chode there. Let's go round here. Hit points 19 out of 30. Am I, have I forgot potion of healing? Yes, I have. Got loads. So let's sort that out. Uh, all the way back to here. I don't think... Oh, no, that's the, that's the that's the opening. That's the... Um, maybe the blue thing's the, the way down. Oh, that's the way up. Ah, uh, No, I think I need to be there, don't I? Uh, which means I need to go... Oh, bloody hell. I need to go all the way round. Back through the dark zone. Um, shout out to Lex. Right. Oh, <laughs> it's just literally just here. Fine. Fine. Um, level three now? Ooh, this looks a bit more... This, these look like traps or something. Too heavy. Opening this tomb requires a strength of 14. I only have 13. Well, if it's anything like the Solace Project, it'll just contain fuck all anyway, so let's let's move on. Oh, bat! That looks like a bigger bat. Um, and I've already... I, I should be using my mace. Oh, I just timed that badly. Okay, let's do some good timing. Timing. Gotcha. And tonk. Oh, I missed it. Double tonk. I automatically healed. I think I've got automatic healing set on. So if I do get low in health, it will um, help me out. I don't need another torch. Oh, shit, I wasn't even look I wasn't looking where I was going. Uh, tonk. There we go, he's tonked. He's tonked. It's fine. Right, let's go through here. Sleep! No, can't. Uh, it's a lever. Um, so I've activated Summit, but I don't know what. I'm sure we'll... F oh, that must be it. I think that's just the... Ah! This do door opens and closes of its own accord. Just wait for it to reopen. Okay. Oh, oh god, he looks... Oh, <laughs> dead. Okay, let's check out this crafty little corridor up here. Up there. Check out the barrels. Um, there's rats all over the place. Oh, the ration, 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 ration. Grab the ration. Grab the ration. There we go. And... Tonk! Tonk! Oh, oh no. The cooldown on the mace um, did sort of like him. Um... What's that? Oh no, that's some... Okay. That appears to be... I think the same switch as the other one. Let's try going down here. Let's not try going down here. <laughs> okay. Try down here. What else lies... Oh, there's a ration just lying about the place. I think you can turn auto-pick off off. Auto-pick-up off. Um, but I think I, I like to leave it on. Although, look at look how full my inventory is. I can't pick up Shakademus or the pliers. Um, let's eat a... Let's do summer. Let's. Uh, I've got four torches. So, actually, how do you drop these things? Right, and because I don't know the key to drop, I'm just gonna. Um, I'm just gonna toss it. I'm gonna. In fact, I'm gonna toss all my torches, because sod them. Get rid, and get rid. There we go. Now I've got plenty of space in my inventory. So, are they, oh, they're tools, not pliers. Okay, um, that'll do. Let's see what's through here. More rats, and also the way down. Um, but as usual with these roguelike games, um, the key really is to clear the corridor, or clear the um, clear the entire room first. Let's read that scroll. Last rites. That can't be good. <laughs> Let's assume it's great and completely helpful. Uh, okay. Did I even pick that up? I don't know. Let's actually go down. Let's carry on going, because I've, I've I've seen most of that level. I want to see how far I can get, because uh, this is um well this is like one of those games where it just suddenly gets difficult. It'll it'll, it'll suddenly kill you before. You know what's going on. Oh, there's another big open area. Let's see what's up here. Very dark, this level. Also very more, much more of a natural level. Uh, okay. Somewhere hidden in the... Oh, another one! The red door! It's very dark in here. I think I might actually um, try and sconce up. Oh, that'll do. Oh, that's more like it. I can see for days. What's that? Oh, it's a... Um, it's, a it's a table. <laughs> uh, lads. Oh, 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 some coin on the ground. There's a big old rat. Oh, I'm just... 
I tonked him with a torch. Oh, don't stop it, stop it, stop it. No, stop it, fire. Oh no. The game has stopped working. Okay, back on a different level two to last time. Um, it's much more natural and cavey type place. There's, there's keys and locked um, and barred doors for days here. And we've picked up a lot of stuff, lots of different stuff this time, including um, lots of different kinds of armor, including new cloaks and new leather armor, which turns out actually be, to be too heavy for me. I get encumbered, so I don't really want to use that anytime soon. Maybe if I get my strength up. Oh, here we go. Uh, oh, potions. Let's some. Um, let's try drinking some of these. Um, antidote. Achievement unlocked. Daredevil. Read scroll. Detect magic again. I had one of those before. It did fuck all then. Did fuck all now. Um, the lever. Hopefully opening a barred door of some kind. That's a locked door, but we've seen what's on the other side anyway. So, hopefully, I've actually now um, opened something up which means I can get somewhere. Um, God damn it, I don't know where though. Uh, let's go. I might have to go all the way back. Maybe it's opened up that orange door. Let's have a look. Let's test out the game design. Here we go. Ah, is it, and there's the way down. Ah, uh, cool. Yeah. It does feel a bit more kind of... Yeah, after having played quite a lot of levels now, it does... I, it doesn't really feel overly designed. Or, or, or in a sense it does. It doesn't feel overly procedurally generated designed. There are obvious um, hints here and there that it's, you know, like, um, there's like a, the puzzle sometimes are ludicrously trivial, like there's a door um, and a key right next to it or whatever. But generally it just feels pleasingly different every time you play it. Uh, and you don't really see the sausage too much, which is always a good thing in these situations. Lots of food in here. So yes, I should be following this with interest. This is a pre-alpha, I think it's a press demo, so I'm not sure if it's actually available, um, um, publicly available. Um, but I think further on down the line, hopefully there will be demos and things like that. It's on Steam Greenlight at the moment, if you want to check that out. Fuck you, Dar! Sorry. <laughs> I'm tired of those things. Um, it's on stream Steam Greenlight now if you want to check it out and give it a bit of encouragement and all that. Yep, so until next time, um, thanks for watching. Fucking Dar! Sorry. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, subscribe for more videos along about the latest games early in development, late in development, and newly released on Steam, and I shall see you next time. These bloody barrels again. God damn it.